So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is cloud logging on kubernetes engine so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console and incognito window now if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now let's get started now after that here you have to just click on i understand and then we will activate the cloud shell now here just activate the cloud shell it will take few seconds you have to just continue and authorize yourself like this let me show you you need to set the project so for that go to the task number one you can see here first of all we have to set the project so first of all copy this entire content just like this from here and open your personal notepad or you can use your online notepad also so let me show you let me paste over here like this but we have to copy it from the lab instruction like this here you have to just replace the your project id like this and select all and just close your notepad and paste on the cloud shell so first of all we have to just configure the project id and after that we'll set the first clone the repo and then after that we'll change the directory and set the region and so on so first of all let's go to our demo directory here now the next step is that we have to set the region and so on so just copy it carefully now we have to modify the files so how we'll modify the files first of all open editor like this I will show you step by step method no need to worry about it you will definitely get the score without any issue now from here we have to open the editor and from here go to this folder and here we have to open the provider.tf file and modify the version as you can see here the version is listed here we have to just copy the version here from here to our this so first of all open the terraform and from here click on the provider.tf file you can close the extra window like this let me show you now here just update the version you can just type also manually here you can just you need to update it only okay you can either copy and paste or just type it so just update it now here this thing is done now you have to just save now suppose you want to view the terminal how will you view you have to just click with this and you are here now we have to modify another main.tf file present on the same directory and folder so how you will do here we have to update the resource type so for that you need to navigate again to the console sorry console and then cloud shell editor so just open the editor and from here you can see the file wait a minute main.tf this is the file so here we have to go to the line number 110 and 119 and update the container to this so just copy it carefully and just from here go to line number 110 so as you can see here is resource underscore type sorry resource type container update it now you can see we have to do for 119 line also same step so just scroll down and just update it like this now you have to just save it so just save it and now we have to just run this command to make this executable so now just run on your cloud shell now these commands will take some time but sometimes what happens we get the score instantly but sometimes we don't get so here is another way let me show you how you can find the directory you have to just copy this if you are unable to find the file here so just copy this like this click on view command palette remove this arrow and just paste you can see the file results is listed you have to just click it and it will open so i hope it clears your doubt now just wait and if you want you can hit check my progress because sometimes we get the score instantly sometimes it takes time so we got the score now what we have to do we have to view the logs in bigquery this task will complete later on once all the command is executed it will take 5 to 10 minutes so just wait for it and once you see that all tasks have been executed and the cloud shell is idle we'll move forward don't worry i will tell you where we have to start so now let's meet after 5 to 10 minutes
from here after 5 minutes 5 to 10 minutes it's done now what we need to do is that we have to open here logs explorer so on the search box just type logs and from here click on logs explorer just minimize it you can use the minimize button also now here just follow the way i'm doing so it will take some time so we'll just wait for it now here we have to just run the query so how will run first of all remove this unwanted pop-up like this and again click on leave it's taking some time so just wait for it meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed the channel do subscribe it and like the video now here from the resources type we have to select the cluster and just select our cluster which we have created so as you can see here is the resource type click on it or you can do one thing just type on the search box or you can just do the resource type here click on it and select the kubernetes cluster after that you can select the name with the stack driver logging so the cluster name is this so it takes some time now you can see the resource type is loaded now the cluster name click on this drop down and from here select it now you don't have to select anything you have to just run the query and after that view the query and run on the big query sorry we have to just run the query in the logs explorer after that we have to move to the big query and then only we have to do this complete task it will be completed no need to worry about it this part has been completed now just run the query now from here you can see we got the output now what we need to do we have to just view the you don't have to do the task number seven and you have to do only this task okay the last task which is task number six view log exports so just sorry task number eight that is log query export so just go to the big query now menu you can see the big query if you are unable to see just type big query and just open it on a new tab like this now as you can see it's open now click on just turn now from the left panel you can just click this drop down from your project id and what you need to do i will tell you no need to worry about it so it is taking some time now first of all if this cloud shall open just minimize it again now from the here wait for the page to fully load actually there is some huge traffic so you are facing issue now you have to just click on this data set and here multiple tables are here you have to just select any table and run the query so as you can see these are the things which we have completed now here if you try to hit check my progress you won't get the score because we haven't run the query in the big query so here you can see this is the output same as our uh, i mean the lab instructions so what we need to do here we have to run a table so for that you have to just click on the query tab and then you have to just add a asterisk mark that is star mark so if you try to add the star mark on the front you may get an error so here you will get an error why you will get an error because as per lab instruction and for running a query we have to select star after select okay so just select after it and you can see green mark just run it and we will definitely get the score no need to worry about it now just try to hit check my progress you will definitely get the score and thank you guys for watching this video do like the video and subscribe the channel let's meet ahead in other labs and do check the playlist for the skill patches and games